I am Gregory H. Robinson, a Franklin professor at the University of Georgia. I received the 2013 F. Albert Cotton Award in Synthetic Inorganic Chemistry. My research group specializes in synthesizing molecules that would at first glance appear uh, highly unlikely. We took some inspiration from Robert Kennedy in our chemistry. We think about molecules that have never been synthesized and we ask, why not? In some ways, we're just chemical detectives following the uh, trail of clues. And uh, oftentimes that leads us to uh, the synthesis of a new compound or the, or the structure of a very unusual molecule. Years ago, we synthesized a uh, molecule that contained a gallium gallium triple bond. And some of the workers in the field have said that uh, this was one of the most provocative molecules to be synthesized in the last two decades. What I was recognized for the Cotton Award for is our uh, technique of using uh, organic bases to access extremely reactive molecules at room temperature. And so nitrogen N2 is uh, ubiquitous, like right? 80% of the atmosphere is nitrogen. But you move uh, one element below nitrogen with P2 and below that with uh, arsenic, diarsenic, AS2, uh, those are only detectable at extremely high temperatures. Typically, nature says, okay, this is extremely reactive and you, you gotta go to really high temperatures to study it. So we found a method whereby we can use these organic bases to essentially uh, hold that P2 and AS2 in place so that we can study its behavior, its structure, and its chemistry uh, at room temperature. So it's not so much as, as controlling uh, nature as it is uh, finding, finding a way to, to let nature uh, give us what, what we want. What excites me about uh, what we do is that chemists are the uh, singular scientists that prepare new matter in the universe. You know, we can, we can take rea uh, reactant A and reactant B and have a product C uh, and we can hold in our hands the only sample of that matter uh, on the planet. One need not have um, an application in mind on the front end, but the application will never come unless the fundamental science precedes it. It is a very um, elemental way to think about it, and I think that that, that dr certainly drives us and probably drives uh, most, most of my colleagues. And this award is as much theirs as certainly it is mine.